Understanding Export and Import, Keys to Global Trade. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into two essential concepts in global trade, export and import. These terms are not only important in economics but are also commonly used in daily English conversations. Let's get started and explore what these words mean and how they are used. In this section, we'll define export and import. Export refers to selling goods or services from one country to another. For example, if France sells wine to Canada, France is exporting wine. On the other hand, import means buying goods or services from another country. Using the same example, Canada is importing wine from France. Remember, export is about sending out, while import is about bringing in. Let's see how these terms are used in real-life contexts. We'll look at various examples of exports and imports from different countries. For instance, Japan exports electronics to many countries. Germany, known for its automotive industry, exports cars worldwide. On the import side, the United States imports coffee from Brazil. These examples help illustrate the practical application of these terms in global trade. In this section, we'll discuss why export and import are vital for countries. They are key to a country's economy, impacting job creation, industry growth, and overall economic health. Countries often export goods in which they have an abundance or a special skill, and import goods that are scarce or cheaper from elsewhere. This exchange is the foundation of international trade. Export and import aren't just business terms. They're part of everyday language, too. We'll explore how these words have become part of common expressions and idioms. For instance, exporting ideas, or importing trends, are phrases used in regular conversations, extending beyond physical goods to concepts and practices. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of export and import. These terms are crucial in understanding global trade and are also a significant part of daily English usage. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using these terms like a pro in your conversations. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next lesson.